Hello everyone. In this tutorial video, I show how to modify Yo-Yo Bandalore's technique for building seamless cuboctahedron frames in order to build frames ranging from this tiny frame with 192 magnets and edge length 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, to this huge frame with 4,416 magnets and edge length 48. To demonstrate, I will build this medium frame with 768 magnets and edge length of 10. The written comments describe how to build the frame in other sizes. A separate video shows the construction of this huge frame. The magnets used to build it occupy less than 1% of its enclosed volume. This frame demonstrates the amazing strength of Zen magnets and of Yo-Yo Bandalore's seamless design. In another video, Magnanot shows to how to build a cuboctahedron frame with a different magnetic design a design that he uses as the basis for various stellated and cumulated forms. It uses weaker anti-parallel connections or seams, like this seam, where magnets line up side by side and it might not be as well suited to large frames as Yo-Yo Bandalore's seamless design. Like the cube, the cuboctahedron has six square faces. It also has eight triangular faces, like an octahedron. The cuboctahedron is one of 13 Archimedean solids, which are highly symmetric shapes with two or more types of regular polygonal faces meeting in identical vertices. With a height of 39 centimeters, and an enclosed volume of 32.6 liters, this huge cuboctahedron frame might be the largest Archimedean or Platonic solid frame ever built using five millimeter magnet spheres. Now I show how to build a frame with edge length 10. Make a stack of eight rings of 21 magnets each Make a stack of eight rings of 24 magnets each. Pull off a ring of 21. Pinch it into a triangle of edge length eight. and add an extra ring around it. Pull off a ring of 24, pinch it into a triangle of edge length 9, and add an extra ring of magnets around it. Then place the small triangle atop the large triangle And this is a subunit of type A. It has corners with four magnets in them, just like that. Now make three more A subunits in the same way. To make a subunit of type B, make triangles and add extra rings as before.
turn both triangles over to reverse the polarity, place the small triangle atop the large triangle, and remove four magnets from each corner. making a corner with six magnets instead of four. Then make three more B subunits in the same way. The cube octahedron is made with an A subunit on the bottom three B subunits, the next layer up, three A subunits at the next level, and then a B subunit at the top in the following way. So here's the A subunit that will form the bottom. Then I'm going to join three B subunits to the corners of this A subunit. And the way that this is done is that they come together in such a way that these two magnets of the A form the edge of the corner, like that. So do the same thing with two other B subunits. Then we'll add three A subunits And then finally add the B subunit on the very top. Just like that. So this is the very, very simple, seamless design for a cube octahedron.